As Black History Month continues, we visit Gallaudet University. That's where three sisters have become role models for students of color. Being deaf and black, they've overcome many barriers and they've seen many changes on campus. People know about uh, black history, American history, and we know about white deaf history, but we don't know much about black deaf history. The McCaskill sisters grew up in Alabama when schools were still segregated. The expectation for children, especially black deaf children, was very low. Carolyn McCaskill was the first sister to attend Gallaudet University, which became integrated in the 1950s. In 1976, she was also the first black Miss Gallaudet, but she says her white predecessors were treated better. When I became Miss Gallaudet, I never had that same opportunity. I was never able to go to the White House to meet the president. And so I was disappointed with that. Another overachiever, Angela, was the first black deaf student to become a PhD at the university. And Sherelle, who is not deaf, decided to attend Gallaudet too. I've always kind of followed in their footsteps. They really set uh, a high pace or a high bar for me to follow them. Today, all three sisters are in positions of leadership at Gallaudet, working to make sure the campus is more inclusive and welcoming to all students of all backgrounds. They come and they look up to us and see that we did it, and it means that they can. Sherelle directs the Office of Equal Opportunity. Angela is Associate Provost for Diversity. And Carolyn is a professor of Deaf Studies, specializing in the differences between American Sign Language and Black ASL, a dialect that developed in segregated Deaf schools. Like one, one phrase, girl, please. You may not find that in the white Deaf community. There's now an effort to preserve black deaf history, in part because of Carolyn's research. I think black ASL is similar to the way that black people speak. In general, it includes much more body language and expressions. It's a part of our culture. Today, 30% of the student body at Gallaudet is made up of people of color, making the McCaskill sisters critical role models with an important message to share. My quote is, the sky is the limit. You can be anything that you want to be. In Northeast, Mike Kinnean, News Channel 8.